The Silent Hill 2 remake footage dropped not too long ago, and we need to talk about it. I have been no stranger to giving the remake a hard time, and I think justifiably so. But credit where it's due, the new footage for the most part looks great, and I want to give Bluebird some props before I get to the things I disliked about the new footage. I remember a lot of people were giving the Silent Hill 2 remake a lot of well-deserved criticism over James being too expressive and different from the original James in the mirror scene that happens at the beginning of the game. I was one of those people. And Bloober actually listened and tweaked James to match closer to the original. That actually gave me a lot of hope, since it seems like they are open to criticism and are willing to make adjustments where they are necessary. Now with this new footage, there is both good and bad. Overall, I think the remake has more positives than negatives. Granted though, the negative is pretty concerning. Nonetheless, let's not throw out the baby with the bathwater, and let's first talk about the positives of this new footage. The environments look amazing. The designs look good, and I really like that it seems like an actual survival horror game. Let's start with the environments. I really like the look of the locations in the remake, the fog looks great, the detailing is there, and the tone of the original seems to be preserved. There are also some new details, like being able to look at a drawing of the nurses in the hospital that show that Bluebird is trying to give Silent Hill 2 those usual horror moments. I think these are good innovations that can add to the base game. I also appreciated the designs in the remake, some characters look good, you know why I am saying some, and the monsters all looked amazing. The lying figure retains that straight jacket look, and it's more obvious now with modern graphics. The nurse, flesh lip, abstract daddy, and the mandarin, which is a bit of an unsung hero from the original, all looked great. I'm also happy they didn't show us Pyramid Head or Mary, since that would be too much. They would be revealing all of the enemies in the game if they had shown us them, so I'm happy they are keeping some stuff hidden away until we get our hands on the game. Now let's talk about the survival horror aspect that this game seems to be prioritizing. Most survival horror games have become action games. The prominent example is Resident Evil. But this remake looks like it gives you scarce resources and actually expects you to not kill every enemy in the game and to instead preserve what you have. I really like this and it would be refreshing since most games nowadays seem to be looter shooters. I also like the dodge mechanics and how the combat actually looks challenging, and I think this is a great modern revamp of the original which had clunky combat. I have seen some people claiming that the original's combat added to the tense nature of the game since it was so clunky that you basically felt helpless. Look, I'm just as much of a fan of Silent Hill 2 as the next guy, the longest video on my channel is a Silent Hill 2 video essay, but the combat in the original was absolute dog shit. It was acceptable for the time, but it's basic, and it's not a reason you enjoy this game. I'm happy they are revamping the combat, and I think it looks good. My only criticism is that it seems incredibly easy to quickly switch between your weapons. I want the combat to be difficult, so I would prefer if there was a larger amount of time instead of being able to go from your gun to your pipe instantly. I am also fine with clunkier combat, since James is supposed to be a regular dude. He's not some police officer who was there during the outbreak of Raccoon City in 1998. The same year Undertaker threw mankind off the hell in the cell to win the WWE. I think having slower switch animations between weapons would make the combat more intense and it would add some realism to the game. Alright, we've waited long enough, now let's get to the bad, Angela. The other gripes I could talk about are minuscule compared to this one, and this is the elephant in the room everyone cares about, so let's talk about it. Angela in the original appears gaunt, she sounds timid, and even deluded at times. The abuse she has suffered ages her considerably, to the point where most fans don't know she is only supposed to be 19. In the remake, she looks her age, and she doesn't have that withered physique she had in the original. She also has a raspier voice that sounds much more aware, and she doesn't seem as distant as she did in the original. 
The original's voice acting was weird in an amazing way. The characters sound off, but you don't realize why they are this way until you find out what is happening in the town. The remake's characters seem much more normal compared to the original, and I can see why people don't like this. I can also understand why Angela's new model upsets people since her original appearance made her look more like a victim of abuse, and the newer version looks more like an ordinary college girl. I can understand how making her look her age brings in more awareness to the child abuse part of Angela's story, but I like the original's version more since she looks like a disheveled victim of abuse and she shows how that abuse leaves a lasting impact on a person and completely changes them. At the very least, I hope they listen and fix Angela's character model. And when it comes to this DEI stuff, Silent Hill 2 is not the place to make changes to the characters. I am actually worried we're gonna walk in on Eddie with a bowl of chicken curry at this rate, and I have the rights to say that if you know what I mean. If you're going woke though, then wouldn't you have to rework Eddie since the original game could be considered fat shaming? Regardless, I'm a person of color and I hate it when shows, movies, or in this case games, are changed to fit the modern audiences, and I think it's insulting rather than empowering. All of the Disney movies that are changing the princess for no good reason, rather than just writing new characters, it just speaks to the laziness of studios today. In the remake's case, I am not so quick to point the gun and say that this change of Angela was deliberately done since in some parts she looks pretty normal, but in other parts she looks weird. But if this is proven to be a change made to fit the woke agenda, then I think that is terrible and they shouldn't be remaking games if they just want to appeal to an agenda. I know there's this DEI consultancy thing going around, but I don't know if that actually seeped into the game. I'm not sure, let me know in the comments below. Moving on to another minor complaint, am I the only one who thought Mary's voice kind of sounded AI generated in some parts? I mean, just listen to this. You promised you'd take me there again someday. You promised you'd take me there again someday. You promised you would take me there again someday. Just me? I also think the new voice actors have an impossible task to take on since the original's voices are so iconic. Meta YouTuber moment. And in my opinion, Mary's voice was literally perfect in the original, so I don't think it's possible to do a better job. Nonetheless, I won't hold it over them if they can't match the original, as long as they do a good enough job, which most of them seem to be doing. I also want to move on to a more general observation that people have been talking about for a while, and that is this game bearing a lot of resemblance to Resident Evil. I think every third-person over-the-shoulder horror game is going to resemble Resident Evil in some way, since Resident Evil pioneered that perspective. Silent Hill games can still have their own unique identity though, through their unique atmosphere and greater emphasis on survival horror rather than action. I do agree though that there are some parts that were quite Resident Evil-esque in this gameplay footage, but I think that's just the standard gaming experience that we have now. Another comment people often make is that James looks like Leon. In my honest opinion though, James and Leon have always had some similarities. They have similar hairstyles, they both don't have facial hair, and the only difference I can really think of is their physical builds. In the original, James is a bit of a chunky monkey, but Leon has always been this really physically fit guy since he is meant to be an action star. In the remake though, they have clearly slimmed down James, and so the key differentiating factor is now gone. I just hope they don't make James some crazy combat specialist like Leon though, and I hope they retain that everyday man feel to him like he had in the original. I also see some people complaining about the changes we have seen so far in the trailer, the prominent example being how you get your radio. I see some people complaining that these changes are concerning and Bloober could mess up the flow of the game and even lose the symbolism that the game has in the process. 
I understand how delicate the symbolism in the game is, and I know how slight changes can mess things up. But when it comes to the beginning of the game and how you get your radio, I really don't see any issues. The way you get your radio in the beginning is less natural than the way you get it in the remake. In the original, you go in this area with pipes under a bridge, but James somehow doesn't see the lying figure five feet away from him. The house has that scare factor to it, and it makes it more natural as to how James doesn't notice the enemy and is caught off guard. To the people saying, but the original has a hole and James enters through it and it plays into the sexual undertones of the game. It ain't that deep, lol bro. And even if you think this is the case, James enters through a hole in the remake too. If anything, it's a smaller opening that he has to squeeze through, which is more Freudian than a wider opening of pipes. I don't mind some changes, as long as it fits the narrative, retains the symbolism, and makes the game feel more natural. Fans in general have a tendency to make something out of nothing, and it's like, what's next? Is the first weapon that James got extremely phallic and this is what you're gonna point out as if it's some kind of revelation? Oh my god guys, the first weapon James gets his hands on is a wooden plank. And look at the time of day it is. Look at the way he's holding it. It's clearly morning wood. The game is symbolizing James's erections and the waking hours of the day. What a deep game, oh my god! Overall though, I really liked what we saw in the remake footage. The only exception is Angela, which I know is a pretty big exception. But if they were able to tweak James, then I hope they can do the same to Angela. Also, when it comes to Maria and the nurses, I've seen some people saying they are too modest, but I still think they get the point across. The only reason I can think of as to why Bluebird toned them down is to make the twist more surprising for new players. But considering they're meant to model James's psyche, this is one of the few times where the male gaze is actually necessary. Either way, these issues pale in comparison to Angela, and I think they can fix all of these issues like they fixed James. Overall though, I look forward to the Silent Hill 2 remake. I don't think it will be better than the original, I also don't think the analog horror feel of the PlayStation 2 can be matched, which makes Silent Hill 2 much creepier in my opinion. Either way, I'll enjoy the modern gameplay and graphics of the remake, but I will still visit the original for the masterpiece that it will be, regardless of whether the remake succeeds. But those are my thoughts on the Silent Hill 2 Remake, let me know what you think in the comments below. Check out my other videos if you can, I work really hard on those, and try to provide original content that you haven't seen or heard before. So please check it out, it would mean a lot to me, thank you so much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.